starting to see more sulfur deficiencies. We're seeing a lot more response for sulfur. Um, so that's why we got a lot more, the ATS trial out here, in particular with zinc EDTA in starter situations, we've seen really good responses. Um, and even more so when we have these really wet, saturated springs. Number one, when you have that type of soil, you tend to get a lot more zinc deficiency, so the zinc's not available when the soil's that saturated. Two, we've had a lot of rainfall. And sulfate leaches very easily, a lot like nitrate does. We'll push that sulfate below the, the root zone. Um, and we saw significant responses this year from uh, the zinc sulfur treatments. Uh, particularly right behind me, there was a very difference in height and, and color. Um, and we didn't see the striping that you would typically see with a sulfur deficiency. And then we'll move around the side here to the pipeline trials, and we have some pictures there where we took them after V5 and the treatments, where you can really see the deficiencies, and we'll show you that, that as well. Does anybody know how to detect or see a sulfur deficiency in a corn leaf when they see it? I think probably most of you are really familiar with what a nitrogen deficiency would be, like the boat shape, or a potassium deficiency where you've got the fringing on the edge. With the sulfur deficiency, you'll see striping, and it tends to be through the whole plant. A lot of times you'll see it early, and you can see it right here. Now, the poster Julian told them they're showing uh, some sulfur deficiencies, but we also get a lot of zinc deficiencies early, and they're kind of similar. They show striping, but they'll have a broader white band when it's more severe, and they tend to be on the manure tissue at the top of the whirl. But a lot of times, these deficiencies are very difficult to tell when you see that striping, it's, it's difficult to tell sometimes so you got to send it out, but more likely if you have the striping through the whole plant or the top, you're going to have the zinc or sulfur or even the manganese type deficiencies. It's not going to be an N or P type thing. And that kind of falls a lot into our group, the specialty chemical division. We specialize in micronutrients, adjuvants, specialty chemicals. Um, so, we're, so we're quite aware of, of, of what those deficiencies would be. We've done a lot of work in combination with the retail group, Ed Corrigan and Pat and those guys, to determine what are the, the key micronutrient ratios, combinations, and timings that will, will serve you guys well and get the response out of um, And that's a lot of why we do the trials, and that kind of gets me back to what's behind me here. This is part of a stress mitigation trial. We've done this maybe three or four years, so if you've been out here, you've seen this before. But this is an application of herbicide across, usually your glyphosate, your glyphosate in combination with your second herbicide, which is a lot more common with the, the resistant weeds we have now. So you don't just see glyphosate applications by themselves anymore. But one of the things we've noticed is if we have the second application of the herbicide, we may get a little a drag in the growth of the plant. And that has lots to do with the plant having to metabolize the herbicide, and it gets a little drag. I mean, the end result is good because you're controlling the weeds, and those weeds drag on your yield, so you're definitely not hurting that. But how we stimulate that plant through that, and that's where Brandt's Smart Trio really came into play. So in this block here, we have the herbicide combinations that you typically see on the field. And then right behind it, we have the exact same thing with Trio on it. And the Brandt Smart Trio, a lot of you may be familiar with design with glyphosate in combination on the corn and beans, so it would be compatible. So you wouldn't have the antagonism. Um, so we continue to do that, and we continue to see really good responses um, from that application. 